you. Um, I haven't been on YouTube since the last video I did was when I was in my hotel room on this channel. And my beauty channel, the last video I did was my new lemon favourites. And that was the last video I did because I was moving. I'm in the house right now, as you can see. This is going to be my new background for a while. Um, until I figure out my new setup and stuff. And I'm so happy because, guys, you've already seen in my old room or in previous videos that I was filming at the stand behind me, like my vanity uh, dressing table. So it's nice to have a new setup, new back background and stuff. Um, there's work getting on in the house, so I can't film where I want to film because the living room's getting done, the dining room's getting done, and the this bedroom getting done where I am where I am now, and this rear bedroom getting done. The only film, the only rooms that aren't getting done is the small room in the box room, which is a small room, um, and the bathroom that's not getting done yet. Um, so I um I'm here with a um, book review and it's the Girl Alone by Zoella Silly Sug and I really wanted this release. This came out in November and it was the fastest selling book from by any author and there was a lot of misconceptions saying that it was written not written by Zoe Sug herself but it was ghost written and Katie Price said from day one when she wrote her angel book that it's going to be I have a writer working alongside with me and you have the high, high ideas in your head but you can't process them on words and if I wrote a book it would be word for word but um, I started writing a book years ago because JK Rowling was my author, my favourite author of all time and she still is and she said um, anyone can write a book if you just put pen to paper write your ideas of characters down, then write, start writing it. So I was writing it as I was going along and the boy was called Henry instead of Harry and um, his name was Henry and he was a Harry Potter fan and he was reading all the books. I was kind of trying to make it like it was called the boy of two statues because he went to this park and he, and he, um, he he met these two statues, one was good and one was evil, and he had to decide which one to go with. And then he went to this parallel universe, and it was so... Because there's no st parallel universe type books out there for kids. And then um, and he goes into space, and he goes, he flies, and um, then all of a sudden this... I don't know, it's like... But I wanted to make like pre... I don't know, it was called Boy of Two Statues, and I can't remember because it was on my old laptop. Old, old. And I think it's still on there because, yeah, um, I had to delete everything because my other friend was using the computer so I deleted every, all my files because she didn't have a computer so she wanted to like have files on her computer. Anyway, so this is a book, going back to this girl online, and this is a first novel by Zoella. And I'll read you Penny Has a Secret. Um, this is what Zoella said. My dream has been to write a book and I can't believe it's come true. Girl and I is my first novel and I'm so excited for you to read it. Zoe Sug, aka Zoella, has been written, writing stories ever since she was little. Her beauty, fashion, lifestyle blogs and videos have a huge following online with a million of YouTube subscribers. Penny has a secret. Girl online, Penny blogs her hidden feelings and about friendship, boys, her crazy family and the panic attacks that have begun, begun to take over her life. When things go from bad to worse, her family whisk her away to New York, where she meets Noah, a gorgeous guitar strumming American. Suddenly Penny is falling in love and capturing every moment of, her, of it on her blog. But Noah has secret too one that threatens to ruin Penny's cover and her closest friendship forever. See, just by that first paragraph, um, no. So we saw Kate Zoella is a 24-year-old blogger from Brighton, UK. He 
the beauty of fashion lifestyle vlogs have gained 10 million of YouTube subscribers with even more viewing than vlogs every month. She won the 2011 Cosmopolitan Blog Award for her best established beauty blog and went on to win the best beauty blogger award the following year. Zoe has also received the best beauty blogger award at the 2013 Radio 1 Teen Choice Awards and the 2014 American Choice Awards for UK Favourite Blogger and she was named Web Star for Fashion Beauty at the 2014 Teen Choice Awards. I want to dedicate this book to all the people who made this possible, the people who have subscribed to my channel, watched my videos and read my blog, for whatever that was in 2009 or yesterday. Your support, and the support means the absolute world to me. There's no way to express how, just how much of a very single one of you. Without you, this book would not have been in your hands. I'll read you first book with you, but I'll read chapter one, present day. Hey Penny, did you know that William Shakespeare is an anagram for I am Luca Speller? Look at the text from Elias Asai in the time of being been watching the dress rehearsal for Romeo and Juliet, three hours of my life that I will never get back. Elias has bombarded me with hundreds of random texts about Shakespeare. He's supposed to be doing to doing it to to to, to relieve reveal my back boredom because seriously, does anyone really need to know that Shakespeare was about times in fifteen sixty four or that he has even ever had six we have seven siblings? Penny, could you get a shot of Juliet running over the trailer? Could you grab my camera and nod it to Mrs Mr Baconfield Baconsfield? Yes, sir. Mr. Bakefield is a year 11 drama teacher. He is one of those teachers who likes being down with the kids. Oh, Gerald's here and call me Jeff. It's also the reason our version, version of Romeo and Juliet set in Brooklyn, Ghetto, and Juliet's being learning out of a trailer rather than off a balcony. My BF, my B, B F I S, best friend in school, Megan loves Mr. Bakefield. But then he does always cast it in the rebuilds. Personally, I think he's a little creepy. She just shouldn't want to hang out with the teenagers. Does she want to mark books, stress about school, inspiration, and whatever else they get up to in the, in the staff room? I go up the steps at the side of the stage and crouch down beneath Megan. She's wearing a bas baseball cap with spikes written on the front and a thick fake golden chain with a Huge fake golden dollar sign dangling from her neck. There's what no way she's been she's been seen dead in that outfit anywhere else. That's how much she loves Mr. Baconfield. I'm about to take a picture with Megan hits down to me. Make sure you don't get my spot. What? I whispered back. The spot on the side of my nose. Make sure you don't get in the picture. Oh right. I shifted to one side and zoomed in the lighting from this side isn't the best, but at least the spot isn't invisible. I take the picture and then turn to, turn to leave the stage. As I do, I glitch out into the auditorium. Apart from Miss Bacon Field and the two assistant directors, all of the seats are empty. I instantly breathe a sigh of relief to, to say I'm not very good with crowds. would be a bit like saying Justin Bieber isn't very good with paparazzi. I don't know how people can actually perform on stage. I only have to get up there for a couple of seconds to take a photo. I feel uneasy. Thanks, Penny, Mrs. Mr. Baconfield says as I hurry down the steps. That's another cringe fact about me. The way he calls us by a nickname. Thanks, Penny. I mean, seriously, it's okay for my family, not my teachers. Just as I get back to the safe spot at the stage, side of the stage, my phone rings again. Oh my god, Julia, this to be played by a man back a man's back in Shakespeare Day. You have to tell Ollie. I love to see her face. I look up at Ollie who's currently gazing up at Megan. But soft what life thought you would yonder when the back breaks. He says in the worst New York accent ever. I can't 
up a sky even though all these stars are not even where it's close to him and Megan's making him look like a cross between Jamie Kyle guest at Snoop Dogg. He still somehow manages to look cute. Elliot hates Harvey. He thinks Ollie's really vain and calls him the walking selfie. But to be fair, he doesn't really know me. I don't know him. Ellie goes to a private school in his home. He's only seen Ollie when he's bumped into him on the beach or in town. Shouldn't Penny take a picture of me in this exchange too? Ollie asks when he's finally getting close to the end of his speech. He's still talking his fake American accent, which has been doing ever since he got the part. Apparently, it's all top actors do it. They call it meth acting. Of course, Ollie says, call me Jeff Penn. I put down my phone and went back to steps. Can you make sure you get my best size? Ollie whispers to us at me from beneath his cap. His, his one has stood printed on the front in black. Diamonded. Sure, the diamond. Sure, I reply. Uh, which size is that again? Ollie looks at me like I'm crazy. It's just so hard to tell. I whisper my face blushing crimson. Ollie continues to frown because you both look good to me. I say desperately, sits it down, setting in. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I can practically hear Ellie shrieking in horror. Thankfully, at this point, Ollie starts to grin. It makes him look very, really boyish and way more approachable. It's my side, he says, and turns back to the face of the trailer. Is that uh, just right, old man? I ask what to make double so Come on, Pen, we haven't got all day. Let's pick up yours all go. My right, of course, Ollie hits, looking at me like I'm dem determined again. Like I'm a demented again. Even Megan's frowning at me now, my face burning. I take the picture, I don't know. I don't do any of my usual things, like checking the light in the water's angle or anything. I just press the button and stumble out of there. When the hairs was finally over, I read from Elliot that Shakespeare was only 18 when he got married and he wrote 38 plays in total. People both heard. Jake P. Dining to get milkshakes and crisp chips. As we reach the seafront, Ollie starts walking along beside me. How are you doing? How are you doing? He says in his big New York girl. I'm okay, thanks. I say my tongue is to try and get out with knots. Now he's out of his room. Really a gangster gear. He looks even better. His bones over to his hair, perfectly cut off. Two eyes are sparkling like the say in the sun. Shine. Be honest, I'm not entirely sure if he's my type. He may be a little cute boy band mate. Athletic, perfect. Athlete, perfect, but it's so unusual for me to have this undivided attention of the school heart heart. That can't help feeling embarrassed. I'm wondering, he starts grinning down at me. Instantly, my inner voice starts fish, finishing his sentence. What do you like to do in your spare time? When? Why have I never properly, properly noticed you before? Would you like to go up me? Take a look, take a look at the picture you took of me, of me, just to make sure I looked okay. Oh, uh, yes, right, yes, okay. I'll show you when you get to the bees. It's actually at this moment I fall into a hole. Okay, not a big hole. I don't actually disappear into it or anything, but I do catch my foot and end up stumbling forward, making me look about as attractive. Sophisticated as a Saturday night drunk. Uh, one thing I hate about writing where I live, it seems to be full of holes that exist just for me to fall into. Into, I style it out. I love the Ollie seems to notice, not notice. Then we get to JP's. Ollie drives straight into the boys to next to me. I see him rising, raising his eyebrows, and I instantly feel like I've done something wrong. Okay, so that's half of the chapter that I've read. So obviously, you know, it sounds good and it's it's all about school, life, boys, relationships, holidays, things that, you know. And Zoella wants to write about a girl who has anxiety because she's got anxiety and she never, when she was a teenager, read a book with a girl that had anxiety. And I just want to say that I love the book whether it's good written or it's by her herself. Um, I mean who who thinks 
I mean, J.K. Rowling, she's probably had, she probably wrote the first Philosopher's Stone, the first three books herself. But she must have had the others ghost written because they were fast, they come out very fast. And um, she had a deadline that she had to write about and she probably, towards the end, had a ghost writer with her because she probably wouldn't have been able to do it all herself. But she probably done the first three books on her own. And then once Goblet of Fire and then once the Hogwarts Prince um, they ordered a phoenix. Goblet of Fire they ordered a phoenix from I think from after they ordered the phoenix, Hogwarts Prince and the Deathly Hallows were ghost written. Um, it has to be because, you know, how can you get a book out that fast? Um, so I don't know if it's ghost written or not. I have still loved the book. So I'm going to be doing a book corner once I've read the book, but all my other book review of this, I absolutely love it. I urge you to go out and get it, and it's a thumbs up to the beauty community, so I'm celebrating the beauty community, um, and the vloggers out there, um, the YouTubers, um, YouTubers, so I've got support, I've got, um, Zoella's beauty stuff, um, I think they were made by her, so she probably thought, well, because it's, me personally, bath stuff, and she can write the ghost writing book. And Tanya Bear has got a, um, it's similar to what Long, Long Goodyear did, it's like a, um, fashion. Part of it is autobiographical, part of it is healthy tips, fashion, beauty, um, and boyfriends. So it's similar to um, Long Goodyear, and I like Long Goodyear, and I like the Long Goodyear, like my, um, the way to be, the only way is Essex, or how to be an Essex girl, and it's um, all about, not how to be an Essex girl, but how to be, it's, and it's all about, of course, she talks about Mark, she talks about X Factor, she talks about Essex show, leaving Essex, starting out time and range, you know, beauty advice, um, boyfriend advice, relationship advice, so it's all, all well into one book basically, so it comes up. So I'm going to go read the rest of this book and I shall see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.